So this is episode 22, take two. The first one didn't quite work out. So what we're looking at here, right, is the brake lines, the fuel line, and also the clutch line that I've now put in. Plus a rather ambitious uh, battery feed, main battery feed line, which is considerably larger than the original one and made a f gave me quite a few challenges with the clips that hold it to the floor pan and also to the cross member. So it's all the way through now and as you can see all the lines are bent and fed through. So the fuel line goes up and across up to there. The clutch line we'll have a look at where that goes on the top of the master cylinder in a minute. So these all go yeah, down to the back now. They go up through here. Fairly challenging to try and get all this in right. And then they've got the fuel pump here, which is now in with the delivery and the supply. Tank sender units now in and installed. So yeah, in regard to the bending process, I found that these particular benders were cheap and cheerful and with cheap you get not the best. So they tended to mark the pipes and where they were very good for tight corners and better for the brake lines than anything bigger than the brake lines. But yeah, in regard to the, this is by far the best uh, tool that I've purchased for this. So the, uh, yeah, the easily adjustable for working with different pipe sizes. Great little tool. And it was, I think about 50, 55 bucks flea bay. So that was quite good. I've now dropped the car. And while I'm dropping it, you can see that the chrome strips are now on the side. So a couple of them had little dents in them. So I opened my vise up so it was just on the same width as the strip. And then I got a wooden dowel and I tapped it with a plastic mallet and it came out quite well. It didn't put any real bad marks in it. Straightened it all up and it looks half decent now. So I'm very pleased with the outcome from that. So inside the engine bay now, got the the bling blings being fitted so the, this has all been fitted now the cable bonnet cables fitted still needs a couple of clips on it and over there now i've fitted all the brake lines this is the clutch line that was a bit of a nightmare to get in because the clutch line you you uh, you buy it as one piece and then when you've got a f two fixed points, like what, one down there and the one up over there, you have to make the pipe fit somehow. And trying to get it into the bulkhead where it is over there and the right length was quite a challenge. So it is what it is. And yeah, it works. The fuel line is here now. That's got another clip to go in here. And then that comes into the carburetor. I've got to check where the carburetor inlet is, whether it's around here or around the side here. And then I can make this work going around or whatever I need to do. So yeah, the brake lines are all finished now. They all go down here and even on the original photographs, this area looks like a right, you know, right mess, right? But it's just the way it is, right? And then this is the cable that goes to the reversing light switch and the overdrive start a motor cable so yeah that's all that's been done now so the chrome strips so inside I did a bit of a weld repair over there we won't look at that too closely because welding isn't my my forte and but if the vehicle's involved in a crash that'll be the last weld to break I can assure you that the press stud was the, the mysterious hole was that I couldn't find what actually belonged in there so that that's been done now 
They've been replaced in the boot. The fuel pump now, I can fix that in position. Uh, cabling to finish off there. I've got to get a couple of screws to hold this onto the onto here because the uh, bolts won't work because the heads are too big. So that needs to be a couple of round head screws. And apart from that, over here is my little sin bin where I've yeah had a couple of little exciting episodes with the brake lines. That's the old fuel line. Um, it's a steel line, so it's now been replaced with uh, copper. And it goes further into the engine bay because that was where it came up on the chassis rail before now and it goes up into the goes up now into the engine bay itself and onto the clips. So yeah, that's where I'm up to with this, I do believe. So yeah, there was a couple of where is it? You can't even you can't even tell where they were, but the these came out quite well now. So I'm quite happy with that. I was expecting more trouble with the rear chrome strips, but they worked out quite well, as you can see there. So yes, little bit by little bit. The engine has now met the gearbox in the other shed, so I'm working on that. And I'm working on the steering column because I've got to get some new bits for the steering column. The indicator stalk broke and the wiper stalk is not in the best nick, but the, that'll be fine. And then I've got to put the gear stick back together again because I've got the new gear stick now from when that broke earlier on, when the threads decided to disintegrate. And uh, yeah, that's about it. Now move on to episode 23 and I wonder what that one will be all about.